All right, we're moving on. Oh, but here's going on. We were just talking about acronyms, but look what it says. The term ground fault circuit interrupted throughout the section was changed to a listed class A GFCI because acronyms are now permitted to be used in the code. In addition to class, the addition of class A to GFCI clarifies the device must trip at the nominal six milliampere, I should say, or larger for the protection of people. So I'll have to add that down. Nominal six milliamp required for the protection people. Now, well, Mike, I thought GFCIs uh, I tripped at five milliampers. Well, here's what I've always said, and we have to change our text and have to change my graphics. And Eric, thank you for yesterday, the conversation. GFCIs have to trip at six milliampers or above. But if you look at the information note, Article 100, it says GFC, I think it says in there, it, 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 it can't trip below four milliampers, but it has to trip over six milliampers well, I would say, hey, you know, it trips at five plus or minus one. Article 100 actually changed that a uh, cycle ago because you can't have a requirement in a definition. And so... It's not even in there at all? Well, it is in there, but it says it trips as, as a Class A device. Oh, it trips as a Class A device, and you, nobody knows what a Class A Let's make sure we check that. And I know what a Class A is, plus or minus one from five milliampers. They took that out of there. And so we go with six milliampers. Well, it's an informational note. It's an informational, it's informational right. note. But it's informational right. kind of less, just as a class A device. And that's not a class C device, it's a class A GFCI. Now, I had a problem with the 2020 code when they brought in the word class A GFCI. I'm like, come on, guys. We're struggling already with, with the code, and now you're gonna say a class A GFCI, because well, what if it's a class A GFCI, then what other kind of GFCI is there? because there was no special purpose GFCI in the 2020 code. Well, the 23 code is adding another type of device, which was added the definition to Article 100, a special purpose GFCI, an SPGFCI. So like, ah, now I know why you say Class A GFCI, but I'm thinking, hold on, Mike, Holt. If GFCI is an acronym, which is the acronym of a Class A GFCI, then I don't have to say Class A GFCI anywhere. I can just say GFCI. And if I want to talk about a special purpose GFCI, I can just say uh, an SP GFCI. So Mario, let's make a, sure in our textbook, I don't use the word Class A GFCI anywhere in the book. I just use the acronym GFCI because I'm afraid using the word Class A ground fault circuit interrupter is a little too far away from somebody where I can just say, you gave me the tools, Dave, you know, as a code panel, I mean, with the, the standard allows that I can then just say GFCI and be technically correct.